Next stop is Bomb Raybot. He's the third hardest of the Raybots, or second hardest depending on how you look at it. It's because of those missiles. Well, the reason why they have this character design is more because of forest constraints. This is an 8-bit demake of another game, and that game had this sort of generic design for a very particular reason. The game I'm referring to is Cathode Ray Bots. If no doors, that's added in the next game, I believe. Oh, by the way, here's Magma Wave. Also, the life bar is being obscured there. Someone forgot to layer it properly. And yes, you can still get that, by the way. If you're better at jumping, like I'm not, Well, guess not. Wall Barrier is easily the best weapon in the entire game. The biggest problem with the stage is kind of the gotcha moments with the missiles. Whoa, um... There is also another issue or minor glitch. If you try jumping off the bombs, for some reason you can't jump as high. See what I mean? I was pressing down the key. I strongly believe that's a bug with the game. Because nowhere else in the game it happens. Please don't put big eye enemies like this over here. Made it to the end. This would be a boss door if this was a regular game, but... His weakness is Fire Ray Bot's weapon, the Magma Beam because fire blows up the bombs. And you get so much ammo for it. Just look at it, destroyed. Outside of the odd jumping bugs and some of the placements of the missiles, this was an okay stage. It did fit its gimmick. But you know what that means. Back to Sword Raybot. I'm gonna force a game over here because I only be back at 3 lives. Well, this game was designed for Pico Day 2014 for Newgrounds. Let's see how our bomb works. Pretty weak initially, but stronger when it hits something. It uses quite a bit of ammo though, so use it only against the tough foes. See ya, Mega Man. Hope to see you during tonight's stream where I'll be covering Mega Man Fusion, the Mega Man Fusion collab for Mega Man Maker. Mega Tank Man as well. But this is a more full-fledged title in the first place. Mega Tank Man was only one stage. This is a full fan game with seven or so stages.
Wow, I didn't realize I could clip through a dial like that. Let me put it this way. Bomb Ray boss stage was harder than usual due to engine glitches and some strange placements. This is due to bad level design. At the very least, introduce the springs over a safe environment, not a bombless pit, please. Even Springman stage did that. Springman and Nightman. Because I like the concepts of the springs and moving springs, it's just that they're introduced poorly. I wish the orbital shield protected me against spikes. That'd make it even more amazing. I'm already more than halfway through the second game, CMB. Here we go again. I don't think you're intending to do it over here, but might as well. First game was certainly an experience. That'll be split up into two episode let's play, or perhaps one part depending on how it works. Who thought it was a good idea to place that? In some ways it feels the stage was made by a different author, or someone who is much more sadistic, compared to the rest of the game. Reminder doing this bust blaster only is... At least there's a checkpoint at the start of this. Sometimes I also get knocked over to a better side. If only I had the Skull Barrier. One must have despawned. Why do the enemies here have to be so- Well, I'm complaining enough, let's just do this. If I hit an enemy from the top, then I'm fine. That's why I wanted to save the stage for last. Nightman, but his state is worse and so much more painful. Pea Balloon is easily one of the best stuff in the game, combined with the shield. Uh, okay. And that's it, that's the end of the stage, no more. I was worried there was going to be a final section. I'll just use his weakness. And by defeating him, I get the Energy Strike, which I'll call the Energy Sword. Alright, with all six Ray Boss defeated, the only thing left is... Mr. Falp. Or should we call him Dr. Falp? I'm back to three lives at the very least, the game was nice enough to do that. Let's try the Energy Strike. It's actually handy against overhead enemies, not so much against other enemies, sadly. Oh yeah. Fortress stage and all that. We're probably gonna have a Raybot rematch room too. And you know what that means, springs are coming back. 
I see the references to Tank Man, the fast forward button, and the angry face. Well, Newgrounds reference, man. When there's bombs, there's missiles nearby. You should be weak to the energy strike, actually. No, wait. Who is strong against laser? Bomb, actually. Yeah, you're really weak to the bomb. This is the force beam section. This is kind of like Mega Man 11, where the mini bosses and bosses share the same weakness affiliations. Strawberry clock? Keep the orbital barrier as high as possible. You're sitting on top of nothing there. True, this game actually had better conveyance. I mean, the only stage where I had problems with was just sword. The rest were fine. Get used to the repeating musical tracks. Um, what were you? I forget which stage you come from. I'm not gonna risk it. So, each section of the stage recreates a different part. A different stage, essentially. While having references to new ground in the background and oh my... I knew shield was coming up. And I knew that I was gonna die once here, but I should have just stood on the left. Should be checkpoints at the start of every one of these. Really, game? You should have put the checkpoint after this, at the start of the next section, not every two sections. And getting knocked in midair. I'm so used to Mayman Classic Physics where I believe I'm supposed to get knocked back, not just stuck in midair. Wow, you phased right through the spikes? Seriously? Alright, before I go back to that stage, I'm gonna farm up at least two more lives. Let's try Mr. Falp's stage again, and hope we have better results this time. And for those watching the LP, off-screen, I farmed up back up to nine lives. 
This stage should have had checkpoints after every section, not every two sections. It's only partly a bad level design. Like, some sections are definitely built better than others. Each section is based off of a stage I already went through. That was my bad for going ahead too fast. Breaking the game a bit. The pause menu is glitching. See, enter, enter, enter. So one enter to enter the pause menu, but two to get out. This missile section is better than the one in Bomb Man. I mean Bomb Raybot. I'll never get used to calling them Raybots. You would think the Force Me section would be the hardest, but no, it's the Spring section. What a change in Mega Man history. See what I mean? I need to double tap the pause menu repeatedly. Otherwise, I'll end up with a situation where the game runs in the background. So let me show you something. Enter. Enter. You can hear the fire in the background. Stuff is happening. I don't know what happened, but I guess by farming I broke something. I ran out of bow barrier as well, and I really need it soon. Well, I hit the next checkpoint at the very least. Thank you, game. I wish I knew what you were weak to. Which stage does this mini boss come from, viewers? Do you recall? If I know what it is, then I can use this weakness against it. Okay, pause problems. There's even a short delay before I can tap the button again. I'm not sure if this is going to be doable now. And this is why I fear doing it buster only. And I can't just easily just restart exit the game, because I'm not sure if it's going to reset my progress. So if I game over here, I'll try doing that, and if it resets my progress, I'll end off the stream and finish the game during the next stream. Okay, that's different. Music's changed. Could this be it? The Fault Machine. That was the last challenge. Huh. 
Time for the fob capsule. Telefrag me. Any guesses of what the weakness is? Let's try out everything. Got a pretty super effective weakness. Yeah, this is the final boss, and I broke the music. It's the most awkward weapon to hit him with, that's his weakness. See how fast I destroy him with that? Split laser, I guess? Yeah, split laser works wonders. Weakest weapon in the game, but does double damage to the boss. We're supposed to have some music here, but I guess the pause glitch affected something else too. Mr. Falp, you've been defeated. Chasing away Mr. Falp and his creations, Sir Tough Guy managed to save the world from new grounds. Hold on, sword a bad guy then? Rats. You're supposed to hear a somewhat awesome final boss team, but combined with all the other issues, and I guess by downloading this SWF file it broke that. Here are my overall thoughts in this game. It was a decent, freeware online flash game heavily inspired by the Mega Man Classic series, but it had a few issues. Outside of the orbital shield and perhaps the magma wave, not to mention the power balloon being an awesome utility, all weapons felt underpowered outside of weakness affiliations and very particular setups. In terms of stages, Laser Raybot, Beam Raybot, Fire Raybot, and Shield Raybot are tougher fine, but I had issues with Bomb Raybot mainly due to conveyance of the missiles, and some glitches with jumping off the bombs, and Sword Raybot badly introducing the springs, especially the moving springs, just before the end of the stage. It was even harder than Mr. Fob's stage. I mean, we never even saw the moving springs in Mr. Fob's stage. Mr. Fob's stage should have had one or two more checkpoints per section, especially near the end with the recreation or redux of Sword Raybot. I like how it had reduxes of all six levels, and I like how we don't have the usual trope of repeating all the boss battles. Plus, I like how most of the mini-bosses share the same weaknesses as the original Raybots. And I do like how you can re-go through the same stages to stock up on E-Tanks and extra lives. So overall, this was a perfectly serviceable demake of Cat Toad Raybots. The sequel does a much better job at everything, and I will cover that in the future. Well then, I thank you all for watching my Let's Play of Cat Toad Raybits viewers. If you enjoyed it, please rate, favorite, comment, and or subscribe, as they all help out the channel. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well, and join my new Discord server, as I regularly post updates there. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all in a future Let's Play.